It's uh, digitally remastered and almost 30 years on from the three CD set, Five Hand Reel for all that, Nella Murray. Five Hand Reel, Bratach Bana, pounding song. You're listening to The Garden Sessions, episode 34. I'm Jack Foster, and with me are uh, the Oz Clark and Jilly Cooper <laughs> of the folk scene. I'm talking, though, of Dave the Angles Gimbal and Frank Burkett. Yes, he's joined us. For uh, this episode, Woo-hoo. because Tom is away gallivanting in the Highlands. He just went off. Well, he's, he just he's gone for a holiday. Indeed. He and does that kind of thing. He's off. Anyway, um, Angles, what's coming up in the show? We're going to have all the usual stuff. We've got another angle. We've got the it's top good to have ten. you with us, of course, Frank. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, I Cheers. wasn't going to say anything. It's all right. I've had quite a few introductions. No like courtesy. <laughs> it's fine. We can gloss yeah. over it. But we've got Dave's angle. We've got the folky news. We'll have the top ten. And we'll have a featured artist for the first time in three weeks, I believe. It's Fortnite, the show angle. So it'll be the first time in six weeks. Three shows. Oh. Uh, who is that featured artist? That featured artist... It's a special one. It's Eamon Coyne. Mm. Eamon Coyne of Salsa Celtica fame. Mm. Uh, he's also recorded an album with Chris Drever, and um, he's um, done an album of his own with many, many guests, Incredible. including Michael McGoldrick. Um, Frank. Hello. This is The Garden Sessions, available on gardensessions.co.uk. We can contact it's us at podcast at gardensessions.co.uk, but where else can you hear you us? You can also hear us on Radio Britfolk, of course, radiobritfolk.co.uk, uh, and uh, 98.8 FM... In the Edinburgh area, of course, Leith FM. Where, Where Leith lives. lives. It does, it lives there. Angles, your angle is coming up uh, later in the show. Give us a hint. A hint, right. Your first hint, let's buy a couple of real folk legends. A couple of folk legends? Narrows a couple of down. folk legends. That narrows it down to about half of all folk music ever recorded. <laughs> <laughs> And the top ten as well coming up. Will Jed Milroy still be at number one? I hope so. I'm a big fan. Big, well, big fan. Like, big, big fan. Obviously. I saw him at Knock and Gorick, of course. <laughs> you big, big fan. A big, big fan. Like. Have to remain neutral, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Which we'll be very neutral. Of course. Neutral. It's just, you know, you know, I happen to have seen him and I like it. And for the tunesters out there, we've got tune time as well. Um, now, the next tune we're going to hear, though, is um, from Def Shepherd. This is from Green Track's retrospective album. It's like a three CD set of the last 20 years of the label um, called Scotland, the Music and the Song. And the track um, originally appeared on Def Shepherd's album Synergy, which was released in 1998. And this song is called Hunting the Bunting. <laughs> Bunting. 
Jehla hamar, ket be fetten te her. Tihi a godless jaina, abet hardly will. Ket that land itself, te sweet gen laina. Avoften her dead god, the scots can hairy. And the name is to my like To me yet say he be And it all I he be The pony we yellow yet Yon we yellow he did but I see rising free the stood Sang the breed and cheese Broke down a summer's breeze Free a post for the moor Brings fond memories back To a stainy track Where hair bells nod Neath the rabbit he winds Winds its way below Yon wee beach road that was shaped with a wind. Tis there where fine her grass stared skin white he thresh, but for a road, he's white ever. Such a night, by he on all merch day, and the picture bright. Born forever, to the far west, young man. Yon we yai chud land, and oh, it was a jewel, a jewel set in all its splendor. Standing we hail free, all oh, the unlikened shades of grey. Yen, I was born to remember. We'll a recall a kindly soul that me and David met a wee up yonder. As the wee yae sang, but come on a ye soul man, and he passed on to us a thing of wonder. Free the thresh is hair shot for fine of set Roach's house No man move on See me I'm near for good Yeah can be fit and tear Tea a godless jaina I'm a totally will Get that land itself To sweet gen laina I've often heard it caught The Scots can hear it And the name is to my Yet say he be, and it all I he be. Pony we yellow yet. Deaf shepherd hunting the bunting, pounding cheek. Yeah, it was really nice. That was a choice of Tom's actually. Um, again, he's not here. Yeah, where are you, Tom? Tom oh, oh, oh. Um, is yeah. probably still in the Highlands, I imagine. Yeah, uh, but probably. Frank Burkett, a regular guest presenter, is sitting in. Yes. And in just a moment, irregular guest presenter. Steady. Yeah, okay, Angles. And, <laughs> and, and in just a minute, he's going to reprise his role that he hasn't actually done since last year's Edinburgh Festival. Don't worry, don't worry. I've still so got the knack. It should be exciting. <laughs> I've done it you since can then. Still, you can still read. <laughs> I've do, I did the folk news at Christmas, I think you'll find, or sometime. I have done it since the festival. I don't think you did. Anyway. Well, anyway. Coming up in the show, our featured artist, Eamon Coyne, um, later on, of Salsa Celtica fame and uh, Honk Toot Sweet with Chris Drever and so on and so forth. Dave Zangle. Any other hints? 
any other hints? Um, I told you it was two folky legends. Um, so another hint. It also involves birds. It involves birds. It involves birds. Hmm. The lark in the morning. Well, that's a tune. <laughs> and you don't do tunes on the angle. <laughs> this is the Garden Sessions. Garden Sessions. uk. Contact podcast at garden sessions. uk. And we're also available on Radio Britfolk, Radio Britfolk. uk, and ninety eight point eight FM in the Edinburgh area. Leith FM. Frank, where Leith lives. It does. Yeah. Now, um, Frank. Oh, it's so exciting. Haven't done this since the festival. <laughs> Tom's not here, but thanks to the uh, magic of modern, modern technology. technology. It's news! It's folk! What is it, Tom? It's the folky news! Mm-hmm. And the folky news brought to you this week, as ever, in association with Paddy Bart's Wee Folk Club. Well, every Sunday night at the Oak, we've got the Wee Folk Club at 8.30, an intimate venue, 30 seats, acoustic. It's a great night out. We've got fantastic musicians and uh, singers. Every Sunday night, do come along. And uh, this week, uh, Sunday the 8th of July, at the Wee Folk Club, it's the Doghouse Roses. Uh, Paul Tasker and Iona MacDonald folk classics and originals you can hear Doghouse Roses at gardensessions.co.uk they've also featured in the official Garden Sessions download chart and performed one of Dave's angles last year at Nottingham Town great mm. band mm. do you want to pronounce that angles? not even get a try <laughs> <laughs> don't get that up again <laughs> okay, we'll be here for well, the next hour the top story this week Nuala Kennedy has launched uh, the New Shoes album uh, Nuala Kennedy's album The New Shoes was released at the Bongo Club in Edinburgh on June the 20th under Compass Records. Uh, it features the virtuosic talents of Mark Clement, guitar and vocals, Julian Sutton, uh, melodians, and Claire Mann, fiddle, flute, whistle and vocals. She's a bit of a one-girl band, that uh, that last. Uh, it was undoubtedly one of the biggest dates in the Folky Diary last month. Dave the Angles Gimbal was there with the Garden Sessions' newest commentator, Chris Silver, and they mulled over the music. And uh, Angles spoke to Nuala Kennedy about the road leading to where she is now. We're going to finish this um, set with a set called The New Shoes. It's um, the last track in the CD and it starts with one of Julian's wonderful compositions and then a couple of my own and we'll see you at the bar. Chris and I are back outside the Bongo Club. We've just seen Nuala Kennedy performing some of the songs from her new album, The New Shoes. Chris, what did you think of the of the concert? Uh, yeah, I thought it was a it was a great sort of example of how you can mix musical styles without making it too obvious or pretentious. Really, um, I mean, there was a lot of sort of improvised, sort of jazzy, funky stuff mixed in with some very sort of homely, traditional Irish songs. And, uh, Overall, yeah, it was just really a sort of remarkable in the sort of variety that you had within the one performance, really. Right, I'm joined now by Nuala Kennedy. You've just been launching your new album, The New Shoes. How do you think the evening went overall? I think it's gone great so far, and uh, it's still going on, as you can hear in the background. And um, obviously, uh, of Irish descent, how did you manage to sort of work your way through to, through to Edinburgh? Well, I came to Edinburgh initially to go to art college and I did that and I stayed, I worked for a couple of years teaching and while I was doing that I became involved in the traditional music scene here more and more heavily. So you weren't really too much involved in the in the music scene back in Ireland or? Well, not massively but I always played, like I played since I was a wee kid and I've played the whistle and the flute since I was knee high to a grasshopper but I haven't uh, I never thought that I'd do it as a profession Um, but over a few years of playing here I became busier and busier and eventually I went full time at it and that was six years ago You were working with quite a few uh, musicians and and artists in their own right this evening, how how did uh, the likes of Claire Mann and and people like that get involved in... in Uh, She's fantastic a fantastic musician and she was my neighbour living across the road from me for quite some time and um, the other guys I'd met through the session scene in Edinburgh and Mark the guitar player who's wonderful I met him in Inverness I lived there for a year when I was studying Gaelic 
we heard uh, there's quite a, an eclectic mix of music on the album, some some European influence and some quite progressive music on there as well. I suppose we looked at a lot of different, like on, on the album, there's a lot of quite traditional material. So I wanted to, that was important to me for this album that we did acknowledge that and have that kind of traditional material on there. But also there's a lot of um, new stuff that's been written and we've got a, quite a few good writers around and Julian Sutton that writes... Um, he writes great tunes. He plays the Melodian in the band. He's from Newcastle. And uh, I like writing tunes as well. So we've got quite a bit of contemporary stuff on there too, which is great fun to play. And that was uh, Nuala Kennedy's album launch, The New Shoes. And the live track you heard at the beginning of that report was the track from The New Shoes. Uh, sorry, the... Uh, I'll, I'll say that again. Sorry, listeners. It's been a while. Why it's not? been a while. Uh, uh, the live track that you heard at the beginning of that report was the title track from The New Shoes, which is out now under Compass Records. The Stonehaven Folk Festival. Uh, this week, the, the weekend features concerts, Kaylee's workshops and events, perhaps even an aqua Kaylee in the swimming pool. Can you an imagine what that would be? Like? Kaylee. An aqua Kaylee. An aqua Kaylee. Wouldn't want to play the flute underwater or anything. The festival is held in Stonehaven, of course, in the northeast of Scotland, uh, about 15 miles south of Aberdeen. Uh, this year's lineup includes Kate Risby, Wolfstone, Ali Bain and Phil Cunningham, Archie Fisher, uh, Christina Olsen, Johnny Dickinson, Pete Coe, Give Way and Saltfish Forty, with uh, tradition bearers Elizabeth Stewart, Sheena Wellington, Jock Duncan and Titch Fryer, I believe. And Tom will be bringing you reports from that. You um, think if you shout loud enough you might be able to yeah, hear yeah, you whatever he is. <laughs> Tom! <laughs> Tom! Tom, where is he? We don't know where he is. I have no idea. In could the be, Highlands. Could be anywhere. And uh, so, yeah, keep up to date with all the latest folky news at gardensessions.co.uk forward slash news. And is that the folky news? That is the folky news. Mm-hmm. Um, well, it's time to just fire straight in. Um, yeah, angles. The official garden session download chart. The official garden session download chart. <laughs> This is the official Garden Sessions download chart based on free downloads from gardensessions.co.uk. At 10, it's a non-mover for Four Chords and the Truth with Bonnie Susie Cleland, Hannah's Reel, The Wedding Reel and MacArthur's Road. It will not budge. At 9, he's back in the studio and he's back in the chart. It's (laughs) Frag Market with the video version of what she would say. Yes. At 8, it's up 1 for Four Chords and the Truth again with All Men Fall in Love. And at 7, it's up 1 for Susanna MacDonald with This Is A Love Song. I'm back in music. Just kept <laughs> creeping in. Then. Yeah, I wasn't gonna. I was gonna gloss over. Shoddy, it. shoddy. How can you angles? Yes. <laughs> At six, it's, it's down your two. segment. You're responsible. <laughs> Random scansum with hush. At five, it's another re-entry for Frank Burkett with Military Band. Frank. Yeah, back in the chart. This chart. Never. Yeah, I hope you're happy with yourself. <laughs> At four, it's Who does down. Military Band feature angles. <laughs> I don't know. You didn't write it on my little thing. It features Cassandra no, Steele. me. Uh, Cassandra Steele featured on that one. Uh, at go. four, it's down one for Martin Boland with Dreams in Blue. At three, why, What's why, three? oh why can I not just burn all the discs? It's Sinead Connolly with I We Know. Why is oh why is sure that's the reason why? Bit harsh, Angle. Yeah, yeah, come me. on, steady on. But I anyway, what speak is the truth? This is the moment. This no, the it's moment. not quite the moment. <laughs> When's the moment? <laughs> the moment's in a little bit from now. At two, two, not striking quite a big enough piece of luck, unfortunately, this <laughs> week. It's Andy Chung with the Petty Falls. <laughs> and that means that the official Garden Sessions download chart number one is a non-mover for Jed Milroy with He's I Will Worship still Nothing. at number one. Three weeks in a row. Three shows in a row. Mm-hmm. You 
pissing on my fire Fucking up my show You interrupt my flow You lie and wait for me With the dust beneath my bed Trying to get ahead of me But I'll fight you in the night I'll fight you till I fall Beneath the bread line And the headlights And the street signs And the street lights Writing off my day before I've begun. You're taking back my name, you're taking back my song. And I'll fight you in the night, I'll fight you till I fall. The bread line and the headlights and the street signs and the street lights. Secret, so I can buy another part of me. And have you seen a rainbow, or have you seen just rain and the sun shining on me? I will worship nothing, I will worship nothing. Worship nothing. I will worship nothing. I will worship nothing. I will worship nothing. And have you heard the sirens whispering on the radio? Coming down the airwaves, you should have seen them rock on TV. Worship nothing. I will 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 worship nothing. So come on, drink your wine up. Does it fill a hole? Does it feel any better? That you know where you're going when you go I will worship nothing 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 Worship nothing. But I will worship nothing. I will worship nothing. I will worship nothing. It's still the number one. And I'm glad. Indeed, Jed Milroy, I will worship nothing. You listen to the Garden Sessions, gardensessions.co.uk, and our time is racing away, but we have to mention it. 
Guess who just walked into the bucket? Guess. Take a guess. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> Tom Harlan. Back from the Highlands with a mother of a hangover. So I think I'm just going to go away to bed. Um, He's not the Oz Clark or the Jilly Cooper. He's what really he, not. No. Is it the hairy biker? Brilliant. Yeah, I think that sums him up about now. You don't want to see him, listeners. You really don't. Dave, or smell him. I'm sitting right next to him. He's Dave, punching. your hints were... My hints were that the angle is by two folk legends mm. and that it involves birds. And who is it and what is the song? It's Ray and Archie Fisher and it's Twa Corbys. <laughs> As I was walking all in, I heard two corbies knocking a mean. The teen and tea, the teller did say, Oh, what's all we gang in the day? Oh, what's all we gang in the day? It's in a hint, you know, fell day. I what their lies on you slain night And nobody kens that he lies there oh. But his hook and his sound and his lady fair oh. Hook and his sound and his lady fair His hook is to the hunting game His hound to bring the wild for him as a lady's ten on other metal, so we man ma could den or sweat, so we man ma could den or sweat. It's he'll sit on his white horse bean, and I'll pay good his bonny blue wing. We'll all call his golden hair. When it grows bare, oh, oh, the goodness when it grows bare. There's money in for him, Max Min, but nain so can for he is gain. And our is bonds when they lie bare, oh, the wind so blow forever, mare, oh, the wind so blow forever, mare. That's Ray and Archie Fisher to our Corby's. Um, well, um, Tom was just regaling us of some tales of his trips to the Highlands, so I didn't hear much of that song. So, Angles, I really need you to tell me what your angle is. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, the song's basically a dialogue. Um, there's a guy walking mm. along, and, uh, and he sees uh, these twa Corby's, these crows, that's, basically. That's two Corby's for those who yeah. aren't Scottish. Two crows. Um, sitting uh, sitting on a wall and they're talking to each other and one of them's basically saying to the other one where should we go for dinner uh, and tree. the first one says well there's uh, behind a fallen dyke over there there's there's a there's a, a soldier and he's lying dead and we could just go and you know have a wee peck off him um, and the first <laughs> bird says but peck off him. yeah eat him you know okay. um, no one knows he's there it'll all be fine the second bird says but you know surely he's got a, 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 a dog and a, and a bird and stuff like that like 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 knights did back in the day you know and the, and the first part says no it's all right you see because the the knight it's gone off hunting the hawks it's gone to go and catch some wild birds and take them back so it's, as free. it's trained to do and he's all there he's all alone and we'll be able to eat quite happily nice. with no one bothering us nice you know Good. nice easy dinner right so they eat, they eat this guy Sadly they eat gorgeous. this guy they're sitting there eating this guy the first one says basically well Love i'll sit i'll sit on the bones we'll we'll peck out his eyes it'll all be good and and you know sounds good Angus. we'll make our nest out <laughs> of all the little bits and pieces of stuff that we can pick off him and it's all going to be fine mm. um and basically they sit there chatting for a while and they're basically talking about how they're going to pick him clean clean everything away and there'll be nothing left and wind will blow anything that's left completely away and there'll be no trace of it. Is this the entire substance of the song? Just a couple of birds eating a guy yeah, and discussing much. it? Yeah, Yeah, it's about a couple of birds eating. I what? thought it was a good one because of the, the, the language. <laughs> it's quite hard to understand. What's you know, the moral? Um, Not too many the angles. Songs, the song is talking about how fragile human life is and how there'll be nothing left after we've gone. So, you know, it's that kind of, that kind of a, a slant on things. Swiftly packaged. Very yeah. slick. Is that your angle? It is indeed. Mm-hmm. 
packaged. Okay, it's gin time, and it's Lauren McCall. I galloped Ken Ross. Okay, the first letter is from Ed from Bedfordshire again. 
We've had him on the show before. Long time uh, listener. And it says, I've only been a listener to the sessions for about five months. Well five done, months Jack. Listening. But I have to say, <laughs> your last show was musically one of, if not the best yet. Love the Frank set. Oh, thank you very much. You eh? were the we one who decided did. this letter went in, weren't no, you? No, I certainly was not. Well, just all of it, really. Brilliant. Also, any chance of hearing Jack and Tom's Sacred Grove, please? I agree. <laughs> uh, can I just say, listeners, that is one that's on the website. That's one of my favourite songs. has been in the chart. Uh, if not my favourite song that Jack and Tom have written, well, and it's Tom, wonderful. Tom, you're still in the studio, so you, need to, you need to back us up on this. I'm still, I, I need to back you up on what? I don't know. Just comment on it. Say something. Anything. <laughs> Add um, some yeah, meat we'll to the some, conversation. We'll, we'll play the Sacred Grove at some point, and um, once we put it together. Indeed, in indeed. Kind of it's, form. it's still in the kind of the, the motions of being recorded. The embryonic it? stage. <laughs> it's an art. That's we why can they call tell it art. you that it will feature Frank Burkett on it, though. Yes, it certainly will, listeners. You managed in the, to in track the him down. In the background. <laughs> um, well, should we go and move on to the next letter? Yes. Next, next letter, uh, yeah. It's uh, Beth. From the Shire, apparently. I don't the reckon Shire she is. Doesn't it, it's a fictitious yeah, place. Yeah, um, Frank, um, there might be somewhere called the Shire. There could be. There um, could be. Uh, she says that, uh, well, I for one would like to hear a report from the Stonehaven Aqua, Kaylee. And I believe Tom... Well, it's handy that I have just wandered back at the Bothy because I can confirm to Beth yes. that I will be going to the Aqua, Kaylee in Stonehaven. I'll be going back up to the Highlands again at the end of this week and practically living up there at the moment. Excellent. Um, well, um, superb. Look forward to that, Beth. I would love to read another letter, but we just don't have time. Thank you very much for your letters, and you can contact us at podcast at gardensessions.co.uk. Um, the website's gardensessions.co.uk. Um, now it's time, though, for a featured artist. What an exciting moment. Uh, this is Eamon Coyne, um, who is um, the star of such big acts as Salsa Celtica. He's worked with the likes of Michael McGoldrick, Chris Drever. Basically, you name him. The list is endless. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much the way it is. A folk... Um, I don't know, mafioso? Would that be a good word? Almost, Perhaps. almost. Anyway. <laughs> Folky wizard, maybe. Here we go, then. Um, Bad I'm Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> Is Tom still here? <laughs> okay, it's this week's featured artist, Damon Coyne. Mm-hmm. I'm downstairs in the Royal Oak, the Grand Old Opera of Folk, with um, Banjo Ace. Eamon Coyne, a man who's toured extensively in Russia, Estonia, USA, Cape Breton, and throughout Europe. Forms regularly with the likes of Chris Drever and Salsa Celtica, and uh, of course released his debut album Through the Round Window in 2002, and has released an album more recently with Chris Drever, Honk Toot Sweet. Eamon Coyne, good to have you with us in the garden sessions. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to start off by asking you a little bit about Through the Round Window. It's released in 2002, and it's it's not a solo album as such, but it's because um, there's a lot of friends on it. But yeah, kind of a debut album, more than mm. um, I suppose. When I got around to doing it, it was. It started off as a project of, yeah, a debut album, a solo album, and then I decided that um, the best way I wanted to do it was kind of make music with the friends mm. I had over the years. And then it kind of built and built, and I decided it would kind of be representative of my music and the music I play and and that was the name of the album too, Through the Round Window, came from that. So the music that came out through the banjo of the round window, the, ba- the, round, the banjo being the round window. Well, I suppose the place I started was in Scotland was because I was living here and it was with, um, we'd done an album with Russell's House, a band called Russell's House, mm-hmm. with Sandy Wright and Russell Hunter and, and Simon Bradley. Simon was away playing with Yanda Cabell a lot, so there was time to do stuff with um, myself and Sandy and Russell. So we did a couple of tracks on that. Then kind of I did a bit in Ireland. Michael McGoldrick came up here, a great flute player and whistle player and piper, came up to um, Edinburgh and we recorded a couple of tunes and he would have he would have kind of represented my an uh, influence from the west of Ireland is where mm. I'm from originally. I played a lot of music in Donegal um, over the years and a Dermot Byrne, a great friend of mine for a lot of years as well, plays, with, plays accordion with Alton. Um, he would have represented that Donegal side, so he played a few tracks on it. And the same token, Kevin Doherty, who plays with Four Men and a Dog, and has a few albums out himself, um, he would have represented that um, folky singing side th- mm. that, that I grew up listening to, and, you know, country music. Um, Kevin taught me so much about, um, or made so much tape, so many tapes for me over the years of, you know, anything from Elvis to Tom Waits to 
Bruce Springsteen to, you know, everyone and anyone. So he kind of fit the bill for recording a couple of songs of his on it that I could mm. play on, and I really like his singing and songwriting. So, so that was the idea. And then back to the Scottish guys were to do a few Scottish-tinged tracks, but I mean, I'm predominantly an Irish musician, so mm. that the, there wasn't so much Scottish music on it. So that's, I suppose, where the, where the whole through the round window comes from anyway. But referring to the, the banjo. The banjo as indeed. a window. Exactly, as a window. As a, a round window. window. Exactly. Um but although um I was doing a couple of gigs with Charlotte Henderson, Great Piper there, uh, um just the last few days and um he said that he, he's training to be a doctor and he said that the round window is actually a, a place in your ear which is where you listen to so it's layered sound it's, from it's uh, many uh, yeah, well now it could be it's great <laughs> yeah, I'm creating meanings as we as we as we speak it's good <laughs> we're going to hear a track from that album though now whistling reels uh, this one yeah. features michael mcgoldrick and do you want to tell us a little bit about why you've chosen that one well i suppose um, um, as i just you know as i said um the w- west of ireland music um that's where i'm from originally i like i got a lot of music from my grandmother, um, who's also on the album at the very end, singing a little bit and playing mm. a bit in the accordion. I, I suppose you move away. I've lived in Dublin for, I had lived in Dublin for many years. I kind of grew up in Dublin, but still your background doesn't go away from you. And Mike's background is very much in the west of Ireland as well. Yeah. In fact, we are, when it goes back to it, we're no more than kind of 10 miles. Our ancestry is no more than 10 miles from one another, even though he, you know, um, grew up in Manchester and I grew up in Dublin and... and but it's kind of, when I was, the flute and banjo is a great combination. I grew up with a, a flute player for many years, a guy called mm. Kieran Dunn, went to school with him. and So I always loved the flute and banjo. Met Mike and said to Mike, you know, could we do this? And he said, yeah, I'd love to. He's very fond of that combination himself. And um, we, I rang him up and said, what tunes are we going to play for this? We arranged a date to do it. What tunes are we going to play? And he says, well, do you know this one? And he whistled these tunes on the, on the um, phone. And I said, F- you know, fine, that's it. And into this one, into this one. I said, great. That, my kind of idea was that where I'd get the musicians to come up with a few of the tunes, maybe, or you know, we'd we'd co- we'd, we'd fit in around them. But Mike yeah. was Mike was happy he'd a set, and we kind of figured it out and figured out what we do and change the tune maybe just to su- suit something else. And so he whistled them, and then we went into the studio, and um, he recorded. Or I couldn't remember the first tune. Mm-hmm. And he, and he whistled a bit the first tune, and I ha- we happened to catch it on record, so I just edited into the start. It was perfect, really fits really well, and he starts the whistling, and I come in, and that's it. Works really well. Well, we'll hear that now um, from uh, Through the Round Window. This is Whistling Reels featuring Michael McGoldrick. <laughs> Thank you. 
from Eamon Coynes Through the Round Window. That's uh, Whistling Reels featuring Michael McGoldrick and Eamon Coynes with me now downstairs in the Royal Oak, our featured artist this week on the Garden Sessions. Um, Eamon, take us back, if you will, to the point when you know the decision was made when you said, yes, the banjo is the instrument that I want to focus on. That's the instrument for me. Um, it's very... Well, it's very easy to pinpoint the, the place. Um, I was, I, I had gone from um, primary school to secondary school. I'd started playing guitar at, at primary school, as some people tend to do, but I'd, my, my mother was a teacher in the school, so and it was away from our home, so we used to travel with her. So I'd the only chance I would get to hang out anywhere was with the nun and <laughs> in, in the school and learn the guitar from her after school when <coughs> mum was doing her stuff. And um, I never started smoking for that reason, I, I, um, because I never got the chance to walk home with the lads after <laughs> school. But um, so I learned the guitar off her, and then we went to secondary school. We moved from um, we moved village in in Dublin, outside Dublin. And my father was teaching in the school, and he had had a friend for years and years at, as a, a, a teacher, and um, a guy called Patsy Tolan from Donegal. And this again is my Donegal connection mm. as well. Um, he. He played banjo, and he used to come to our house. Um, my dad was a, um, built as well, as all teachers tend to have a sideline, but he ended up packing in the teaching later on. But he, um, we, we had a big house and um, a very unfurnished house. We moved into the house with very little in it, and we had a big, huge room that he used to have parties in it. Mm. And he'd invite Patsy, and Patsy would invite lots of friends, and lots of teaching friends would come, and we would they'd have a tune, and it was really good. And people thought Patsy was teaching at school. He used to come, you know, young fellows, and I'd sit down and I'd play the guitar along with it. But um, when I went to when I actually went to the secondary school, I started playing the banjo because I had seen Patsy playing the banjo at the mm. at the sessions in the house, and I just said, "Oh, that's for me," you know. And he quickly, I wanted to get a new guitar one Christmas, a steel string guitar from a nylon string <laughs> and he decided um, no, nah, get a banjo, get a new banjo so I got a new banjo and I had that banjo for a lot of years but it's like the first Christmas I got the banjo um, my dad actually offered me money to stop playing <laughs> over the Christmas because I only got one tune before the Christmas and I played it incessantly and to this day, everyone in the house knows the tune pretty well. They you could, still play they, it? I, no, I don't. It's a polka, Kerry <laughs> polka. Actually, it's on the album. It's, I thought for fun I'd put it at the very end. So my grandmother and myself play it at the very end of mm. the album. It's a little little tiny bit of... of <laughs> at the very end of the, of the album. At the beginning of this year, uh, Celtic Connections, you launched Honk Toot Sweet, um, a collaborative album with uh, Chris Drever. Yes, indeed, yep. Arcadian multi-instrumentalist. <laughs> Indeed. <is> <laughs> yes, Arcadian multi-instrumentalist is right, um, and 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 multi-vocalist too. He mm. um, he sings uh, some stuff on the on the Through the Round or the um, Hong Tut Sweet album as well. Yeah. Um, yes, I met I met Chris in the on the Edinburgh scene, probably the you know roughly after the Russell's House stuff, and. Um, Indeed, indeed, he played when Sandy um, Sandy had too much of playing at Russell's house. And um, Chris played with us for a while, and we toured for a while with Chris. And he's fantastic, mm -hmm. great. Um, he's done so well for himself. Um, he work he works hard at his music. We're going to finish up with uh, a track from the album Honk Toot Sweet. The track is called Honk Toot Sweet, but it's spelled slightly differently from the album. <laughs> <laughs> How many times is this complicated discussion um, to take place? It, it, it tends to be, it, it has cropped up in um, more in, in reviews where um, people have, have wondered about the typo, and it's definitely not a typo, but someone doesn't put an album together and then put a typo on it, on you know, especially when track. it's so specific yeah. as that. Chris wrote a tune with Ian Carr called Hong Toot. Mm -hmm. Which features on Blackwater. Which features on Blackwater as well, which is, a very, which is an onomatopoeic tune. Hong Toot. That's the kind of idea for it. Then I wrote a tune to go with that called Toot Sweet. And I suppose the idea was that Toot Sweet would go with it, but um, rather T-O-U-T-S-W-E-E-T, -E -E as in all sweet, you know, mm. rather than now, if you go the other way in the French. I think that was the idea. We, we I thought probably a bit too much about this. <laughs> um, so all's well rather than now, 
instantly. Isn't that what too sweet means? The idea was that the the album would be a suite, S U I T E. So as in a musical suite. So and the track the track was hung too sweet and it was totally different. So. As in uh, a boiled sweet. As in a boiled sweet, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, we'll finish exactly. up with that then. Um, from Hong Toot Sweet, Eamon Cohen and Chris Cheever. This is Hong Toot Sweet. Thank you very much, Eamon Cohen. You're very welcome. <laughs> So involved in the tune there um, that we almost forgot to start speaking. And I liked how he turned up in that interview on his pushback. It was nice. Indeed. He d- well, he did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> turned up for the interview on a pushback. Uh, Chris Dreaver and Eamon Coyne, Honk Toot Sweet, spelt S-W-E-E-T. The title track, or not as it may be, from the album Honk Toot Sweet, spelt as in a suite of music. You know, you heard it all. Podcast! Mm-hmm. It's that time. Oh, yeah, bandit. What a show. But, um, but we are at the end of it now. Um, gardensessions.co.uk is the website. 
And um, where do you contact us, Angles? Contact at podcast at gardensessions.co.uk or you can get in touch with us all individually at Jack or Frank or Tom or Angles at gardensessions.co.uk. An elaborate response. <laughs> <laughs> um, on next Informative. Week's, on next show, Frank, what's coming up? Yeah, usual features will be coming on next week's show. We've got Folk News, Dave's Angle, uh, the top ten. Will Milroy still be at one? I mm. hope so. Can and he do four? Tom will be bringing us reports from the Stonehaven Festival as yep. well. Till next time, I'm Jack Foster, and with me this week, um, for one week only for the moment, Frank Burkett and Dave the Angles Gimble, and Tom did come into the studio at the very end there. Till next time, take it easy. See you later. Cheerio. Catch you later down the Folky Trail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.